Hello, and welcome to another episode of Reading Rainbow. My name is Randall Fields, and I'm your host. So today we're going to be reading another Explore My World from National Geographic, and it's called Clouds. It's written by Marfe Ferguson Delano, and as you see, I also own a copy of the book. This channel is for everyone, adults who want a relaxing time, children who want to read along, and ESL learners. I hope that you like and subscribe to help this channel grow. So let's begin. Look up, clouds. They float in the sky above lakes and seas, gracefully billowing in the breeze. Clouds dapple the skies above country lanes and city streets. They drift over and under high mountain peaks. So this looks like uh, Central and South America. That's what it looks like. Maybe Peru. I thought I'd seen a temple or something. Not sure though. When can you see clouds? Almost every day. You can see them in the morning. And in the afternoon, you can see them at sunrise and sunset, glowing golden pink or rosy red, purple, orange, or blue. Peekaboo. You can even see clouds at night playing hide and seek with the moon. And stars. The beautiful moon there makes the uh, whole landscape look blue. What do you think ice crystals feel like? Cloud collection. What are clouds made of? Water. They are made of millions of very tiny water droplets or bits of frozen water called ice crystals that float together in the sky. Raindrops are made of water droplets. Have you ever tried catching raindrops on your tongue? The long white trail left behind by a jet is also a kind of cloud. It's called a contrail. Clouds come in many different sizes and shapes. Here are the three main kinds. A serious clouds look like wispy white brush strokes. Stratus clouds look like fuzzy gray blankets stretched across the sky. Cumulus clouds look like fluffy balls of cotton. Drip drop. Clouds bring the rain that all plants and animals need to live. Flowers and frogs, trees and tigers all need rain. 
Rain happens when the water droplets in a cloud bump into each other and stick together. When they become too heavy to float in the sky, they fall down to earth as raindrops. When it's cold, enough clouds can bring snow. Snow starts out as ice crystals in a cloud. As the crystals fall through the sky, they stick together and make snowflakes. One kind of cloud piles up high in the sky, towering like a giant castle. These clouds create storms with pouring rain, wild winds, lightning and thunder. Flash, crash, boom. These are cumulonimbus clouds, also called thunderheads. Can you say... Cumulonimbus. Ah, oh, that is really hard to pronounce. If you were an eagle, you could fly through a cloud and feel, feel wetness on your feathers. But you don't have to fly to feel a cloud. You can walk through one kind. It's called fog. Fog hangs low over land or water. Cool clouds. Whether you're on the ground looking up at clouds or in an airplane, looking down at them. Clouds are fascinating to watch. Here are some mysterious looking clouds from around the world. These bubble shaped clouds sometimes hang from storm clouds. Saucer shaped clouds like this one usually form near mountains. Why can't we see the top of this mountain? What colors do you see in this cloud? The rainbow patch in this cloud is called, wow, that is hard, iridescence. Can you say iridescent? Sometimes, light passing through clouds forms a glowing circle around a moon called a moon dog. The morning glory is an enormous roll-like cloud that only forms over Australia. Wow. When high winds blow clouds, when high winds blow, clouds sweep swiftly through the sky, changing shape as they go. Other times, clouds seem as still as statues, but if you keep looking, you'll see them change shape. Clouds are always moving and changing. If you could look at Earth, from space you would see that there are always clouds floating somewhere over the planet. 
During the day, clouds block the sun's heat, helping Earth stay cool. At night, clouds act like a blanket, helping Earth stay warm. Thanks, clouds. Clouds bring us the rain we need to live. They fill the sky above us with beauty. How boring the sky would be without them. Be a cloud watcher. Anyone can be a cloud watcher. All you have to do is look up. Can you draw some of the cloud shapes you see? Never look directly at the sun. It can hurt your eyes. Lie on your back, get comfortable, and gaze at the sky. Be patient. Take the time to really watch. Look for big clouds, little clouds, fat clouds, and shiny clouds. Notice if clouds are moving fast or slow. What do you see? If you watch clouds closely, you can see all kinds of things in them. What shapes do you see in these cloud pictures? Hmm. I thought I saw a swan in the middle one. Read this one. Here I see a swan. This one I see a heart. This one looks like a phoenix or something. This one looks like a sperm whale. This one I'm not entirely sure. Uh, maybe someone reading at his desk. And today, we are finished. Hopefully, you have liked this book, and hopefully you can like and subscribe to the channel. So long, folks.